Let's talk the latest magic diet pill coming up on today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Justin Hebert, joined as always by Dr. Hugh Beatty. And all right, Dr. Beatty, so maybe it's not actually a magic pill, but there's a new weight loss drug out there mm -hmm. that everybody's using. Can you give us that overview and what the hype is about? Yeah, the drug is called Ozempic or Wagovi. Um, the, actually, the active ingredient is something called semaglutide. And it does cause weight loss. And mm. people have gotten significant weight loss from it. And patients are asking me about it. The biggest concern is that it also affects your blood sugar. Um, the weight loss is, is short-lived because once you stop the drug, it comes right back. Uh, but those are the things that they're talking about. Yeah, okay. So it's, but it's not originally a, a diet pill is my understanding, right? We're no. applying it to a new thing, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's to a certain extent being used off label. That's why they renamed it Wagovi for weight loss. But it's semi-glutide. It's a what we call a GLP-1 um, uh, substance, and it comes from the gut. And the mechanism of action is that it stimulates the pancreas to release insulin, mm. and for the liver to suppress glucagon. And glucagon raises your blood sugar and insulin lowers your blood sugar. So that's what's going on. Okay. And so people experience weight loss on this, but the, the downside, it, it sounds like, and there's probably mm -hmm. many, but it only works for as long as I'm on the drug, correct? Yes, yes it does. And the other problem is we don't know the long-term effects of it. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest risks is that it's associated, at least in rats studied, uh, medullary thyroid cancer. Now, the more common form of thyroid cancer is papillary thyroid cancer. Uh, so the, the risk really of developing medullary thyroid cancer is, is very low, but the issue is it's a black box warning in the FDA. Mm. So if you have any issue of thyroid cancer or family history of thyroid cancer, then it's, it's frowned upon. Okay. So really, maybe what's at the heart of this then is people are looking to take a shortcut. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that a fair assessment? Oh, yeah. Do you experience <laughs> weight loss with it? Yeah, absolutely. But if there's no ownership and mm -hmm. we don't change those underlying issues that maybe caused the weight gain mm -hmm. in the first place 5, 10, 20 years mm -hmm. ago, it's really just masking the problem instead of actually solving it. Yeah, it's my whole concept of when I talk about do you want to be well yeah. or do you want to be medically managed? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are excited about it and patients are constantly ask, asking me how, my feelings on it. And in fact, it was the question of the week. And so I want to talk about it a little bit here. But the issue is, though, is that we really don't know the long-term effect yeah. of suppressing your appetite and also suppressing your cravings. Um, there is something called Blue Line. I don't know if you know about the Blue Line program, where it's actually a program where you change your diet, change your lifestyle, you exercise, as well as eat healthier food. You get the same degree of maximum weight loss, 15 to 18%, eighteen yeah. percent, but you get a lifestyle change, and then what happens? Those cravings and that appetite suppression last longer. You don't have to be on a medication. Yeah. And so those weight loss changes are persistent. And I think that's really one of the key things. The reason the, the diet, the, the supplement in industry continues to sell so well, mm. well, number one, because it's not well regulated, at least <laughs> on the supplement side. Right. But number two, because we're always looking for that shortcut. Oh, well, yeah. can I lose 10 pounds this week? We'll just mm -hmm. take this diuretic, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't solve some of the underlying issues. And so right. I think issues arise anytime we're looking to mm -hmm. take a pill when the lifestyle is the issue. Yeah, I agree. Take a pill for every ill. Yeah. Uh, you know, I used to say to patients, take a med for what the patient said. They come in and say, hey, doc, I want to try this new drug. So they want me to write that prescription for mm. it. And the other thing is that I've always thought about it early on before I did more little research this week on it was that, you know, what is going to happen to the muscle to fat ratio? Mm -hmm. it's, an, it's critical that you have more muscle on you. It's, it's, it's uh, consistent with better health. Yeah. So if you're losing fat, I mean, if you're losing muscle and fat, are you losing more, you know, the ratio is, it becomes imbalance where you yeah. actually are losing more muscle than fat. I'm concerned about that. Yeah, absolutely. The, we've said it before on the channel, muscle is the thing that burns calories. Yes. And so if you want to burn more calories throughout your day, having more muscle on your frame is the exact way to do it. And right. the problem with a lot of these short-term kind of quick access drugs, mm -hmm. they, they might 
help us lose weight, but mm -hmm. if they help us lose the wrong kind of weight and we lose mm -hmm. muscle, then we're really doing ourselves a disservice over the long haul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the appropriate way I'm using with my patients is twofold. One, get that initial weight loss mm -hmm. that comes with a semi-glutide, whether it's with Covey or Zimpic, but then also work on changing their lifestyle. Yeah. And then that way, it's going to be something that will last. And so that's an integrative approach. And I use that approach all the time. Yeah. And that integrative approach, Dr. Beatty, mm -hmm. is that five pillars. Yes. So for mm -hmm. our new subscribers who maybe haven't gone back and checked yeah. out our old videos, what's that big high-level overview of your five pillars and why it works in transforming patients' lives? Yeah. Well, the five pillars are hormone balance, gut health, nutrition, uh, proper sleep, as well as um, resistance training. And the foundation, once again, is uh, hydration with water and surround yourself with love. Mm -hmm. And that is the way for proper sustained weight loss. You might need an initial kick in the pants to get going, <laughs> but it's those long-term lifestyle changes that will keep you on track. It's mm -hmm. not a pill. There's not any new magic pill out mm -hmm. there. It's still going to require hard work, mm -hmm. dedication, and a visit to the wellness doc. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Beatty. I'm Justin Ebert. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you on a future video. Question of the week is, what are your feelings regarding the weight loss drug Ozempic? Ozempic is being used now for weight loss and the pros for it is that it can cause significant weight loss 15 to 80%. It can suppress your appetite and it can control your cravings. But there's some downside. One of the biggest downsides is a black box warning uh, for thyroid cancer. In addition to that, we don't know the long-term effects of using these drugs to, to control your weight and suppress your appetite and your cravings, as well as the weight returns as soon as you stop the medication. So if you want to know if Ozempic is right for you, discuss it with your doctor. This is Dr. Hugh Beatty, The Wellness Doc.